and another morning at Gunnersbury Park and today we are on the Sunny Rockery which is just across from the rose basket beds which are in their fifth year of restoration and the bulbs have just faded on them but the herbaceous all the herbaceous plants are coming up so they are going to be looking great very soon so keep your eye on those and just across from the south lawns of the museum but yeah today we are looking at the sunny rockery and the iconic plants of the sunny rockery over the last two years have been these giant towering echiums which are just coming into flower something definitely worth keeping your eye on great for bees the bees love them but they aren't in full flower yet, but they're budding up thousands of flowers on each spike. And echiums are from, well, these echiums are from the Canary Islands. And they're in the borage family, which is a really important family for pollinators. A lot of borages are perennials, but these particular Echiums are biennials, which means in the first year of their life, all they do is put on leaf to gather the energy to produce these giant flower spikes in their second year. Look at that giant spike looming up there. We'll go around and see what that is. Here's a good example of one of those echiums in its first year just putting on leaf so next year this will be well it'll be enormous here we have the lovely Libertia it's a love it's in the Iridaceae family iris family <clears throat> and the wonderful seed heads of this alpine primula called pulsatilla vulgaris look at those seed heads they're very um similar to clematis seed heads that you probably have in your garden and you can probably see the resemblance there uh, being in the same family as well it's not surprising and then we have this lovely spike here of the foxtail lily erimurus <clears throat> What a lovely day it is today. Look at that sight, eh? And then as we come along, got this low growing Mediterranean rock rose with its vibrant red colors. Beautiful, the bees love this. Silver foliage, a true signature of a Mediterranean plant. The silver foliage is really made up of a lot of fine hairs and it's to reflect the heat and to stop evaporation or transpiration from the plant and then we've got some lovely cecillaria grasses here just for that naturalistic feel really important to have some ecological aspect to your planting just so it creates habitat erigeron mexican fleabane there we go Another good one for the pollinators. And look at this. This is a real tree, isn't it? Scylla peruviana. Got nothing to do with Peru. It's a Mediterranean bulb and loves dry sun-baked soil, which this rockery is all about. We don't irrigate it. It's just got a mulch of gravel, thick mulch of gravel, and all these plants are succulents, like the Hottentot fig, which is just owning this patch. These scillas, Mediterranean plants, made up of hundreds and hundreds of tiny little florets, individual plants, but it's really spectacular. So it's in the same family as our native bluebell. Beautiful, isn't it? Could look at it all day. And they've only been in, what, three years now? So they're really 
really establishing and propagating themselves in situ. And then you come up and you've got this foxtail lily again, just starting to flower, Erymurus. Look at that. Beautiful. Definitely one part of Gunnersbury over the next couple of weeks to really keep an eye on. And then we have this monster, which is Beshneria yuccoides. Look at that. So this is kind of in related to agaves really and these look at that look at those flowers see all the individual flowers on there and again this plant once it's flowered the parent plant will die and then all the offsets it's hard to see here but there's hundreds of offsets and they will go on to carry on They um yeah just just to carry on the this this beautiful plant look at that isn't that amazing I love it and then you come along here and there's another biennial and this is verbascum or mullen as we know it and it's quite interesting because there is the first year's biennial stage and then here is one in its second year. And these plants will get to about six foot tall. You see how silvery they are. Really covered in lots of fine hairs. True Mediterranean plant. They suffer from the mullen caterpillar or the mullen moth, which is the most spectacular caterpillar. Really yellow, very striped. Um, and this year I can't see one, which is a first in my horticultural career, not to see one. So. But I always keep my beady eye on them. They don't. They don't. They don't get away with much. Anyway, this wall is, is definitely worth keeping an eye on. And then this is a shrubby echium, which is perennial. It's a bit hard to get perspective here, but you can see the flowers coming, coming through. And this is quite tender. It's difficult to grow. You'll be hard pushed to grow it out of the south of England. But it's a perennial one and it's planted here, but right next to its short-lived cousins, the biennial echiums, which if we just get a little bit closer. Quite unusual to get ones that are a whitey blue. They're usually very deep purple, like the one behind. Look how tall they are and they aren't even at their full height. So this is really quite spectacular. It's worth just coming here to see these. All the seeds are viable, so it's a major weeding project once they flowered, but well worth the effort. And then coming down to something a little bit smaller, but equally as impressive for me, is our Maria Maritima. Maritima gives a bit away that it is a coastal plant, and for those of you that frequent to Cornwall, you will see it everywhere on the cliffs beautiful little plant so like cushion plant clump forming and all these plants the one thing they all have in common is they love this sun baked site so they are adapted to survive and thrive on drought or arid sites and they are very drought tolerant plants so there we are, do keep an eye on this site. It's one of my most favorite parts of Gunnersbury, this little triangle, because of its diversity and range of really interesting plants. And if anyone has any questions, just um, message Gunnersbury.